Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be hitting the city of Naples or Napoli in Italia. And I'll be going around the city, seeing some main spots the city has to offer. As you can see, the city seems to be quite a gritty city. And uh, although it's quite gritty and sometimes quite dirty, it's a city that has to offer quite a lot of spots to see. Um, it has quite a lot of good architectural pieces. It has also a very good amount of restaurants and cheap food and coffee places of course Napoli is known for its Napolitan coffee which is um, and its coffee culture which is quite a attractive factor to the city and of course we have the pizza Naples is the birthplace of pizza and uh, yeah I'll be going around the city and of course I'm gonna get myself one of those Napolitan pizzas once I'm here I want to try and uh, eat a pizza and the bad place of pizza and um, for people coming to Naples or to Italy on holiday I think Naples offers a good uh, price for for what you get it's uh, quite a cheap place one of the cheapest places to eat out in Italy and uh, if you want to experience some pizza and some really good coffee and of course ice cream or dessert um, this is the place to be so I'll be heading out around the city I'm currently in the one of the main streets in Naples and from there I'll, I'm just gonna go and get myself some coffee and something to eat. See you guys later. This is one of the oldest pizza places in Naples. It's quite a famous place. In fact, usually there's a line of people waiting over there. Uh, today seems to be lucky. So that was L'Antica Pizzeria di Michele. As you can see, the price ranges are quite cheap here in Naples. Um, I'm quite full now. I'm going to try and go for a walk around the Centro Historico and uh, try to find me some, some espresso to digest the food and then go to uh, explore Herculaneum or Ercolanium as they call it over here and see what else I'm gonna do to fill the time in this day. So here we have a coffee uh, from uh, Gambrinus, Marocchino coffee. Shall be drinking really fast before it gets cold. So basically I'm heading down to the train station. I'm trying to get the train or metro to Herculaneum and uh, check out some spots around the city. Currently we've arrived at Ercolano, where basically we have the remains of Ercolano, which is basically a smaller type of Pompeii or smaller version of Pompeii. However, it's faster to go around if you compare to Pompeii. Yeah, in this park, basically we have uh, ancient Roman ruins, which had been uh, destroyed by the volcano behind me, Vesuvius. So I think it will be quite an interesting um, walk around this park and uh, hopefully then go back to uh, Napoli Central and uh, uh, continue my uh, my uh, journey around the city so this is Herculaneum the smaller version of Pompeii it's a city which is also very similar to Pompeii in its architecture and history So this is the park of Ercolanium, which is a smaller version of Pompeii. It was a city, basically a Roman city, that was demolished by a volcanic eruption 
um, with, from the volcano of Vesuvius, which is basically neighboring the city of Naples. So I'm uh, back out of the Herculaneum um, Roman ruins. Um, it was quite interesting, however, it's also quite small. Um, yeah, I mean, the advantage of uh, visiting this place is that you can see it in a couple of maybe two hours, one hour. You can see it quite easily. And of course, it has the same history similarly to Pompeii. Um, I'll be heading back to the train station now and uh, basically moving back to uh, Napoli Central Station and uh, get me some lunch. considered one of the most beautiful metro stations in the world okay Toledo station in Napoli so currently I'm in Toledo station in Naples this is one of the most beautiful stations in the world considered to be one of the most beautiful stations on earth as you can see it has quite a lot of features actually So uh, these over here are the Quartier Espanoli, Spanish quarters. It's uh, quite a poor part of Naples. I'll be walking around this area because there are quite a nice amount of murals here. And there's also um, a sort of shrine dedicated to Diego Armando Maradona. Uh, after this, I'll be heading back to the station and getting my flight back to Malta. And uh, this basically terminates my short trip to uh, Naples. Although this place might not feel safe walking around, I think walking around here in the morning is quite okay. Till now I haven't seen any particular issues with the area. Yeah, I think it's quite a nice place to come see some murals or graffiti. Anyway, now I'm heading back to the hotel. I'm gonna grab my my transport back to the to the airport. I just checked out of my hostel and uh, now I'll be heading down to the uh, Garibaldi train station where I will be catching my bus back to the airport however on the way I'll try and stop at Bar Milo which is basically a small bar which houses the shrine of, of uh, Armando Maradona Diego Armando Maradona and I'll try to take a picture of that shrine and get me some last espresso before I head back to Malta.